Hello, everyone. My name is Amit Jodhwani. Uh, this is my first time speaking at a uh, silent disco, so I hope I'm not too loud for you guys. So I can go louder? No? OK, all right. Um, so yeah, my name is Amit. I am Alexa machine learning and AI evangelist. I'm based out of New York, uh, but I was born and brought up in uh, India, which is where my parents still live. So that's my dad and me sporting the red Twilio on the left, and then the GitHub hoodie on the right. So my dad turned 68 earlier this year. Um, and then 68 isn't quite exactly what you would call a milestone birthday. But I, for some reason, felt I wanted to do something different for him, something slightly special for him. Now, I think part of the reason may have been because the fact that I live thousands of miles away from my parents, uh, oftentimes, this is what I've been sending them. You know, uh, flowers, cupcakes, some cakes, some versions, different variations of flowers and cakes and cupcakes. And there's this actually one time, being a true Indian cricket fan, I sent him a uh, cricket cake. Um, as well. So that was interesting. But it, clearly, I was running out of options. And they really love me. They really do. But there's only so many cupcakes, cakes, and flowers that a parent can accept before actually looking at the delivery man and going, no, I'm not taking this anymore. Right? So before I actually got to that point, I was like, I need to figure out a better way of sending them something for their birthdays and anniversaries. So I was wondering, what could that be? So let me show you how I use Alexa and Twilio to uh, crack that uh, puzzle that I was uh, finding myself in. And I wondered, as I was brainstorming, I was like, what if I actually built a happy birthday hotline for my dad? So essentially, of course, I would use Twilio to do that. What will happen is all these lovely people will call this number. All his friends and family will call a Twilio number. Leave some special wishes, greetings, or any special memories he, uh, they may have of him that they want to share with him on his birthday. And then he can actually call that number on the day of his birthday and listen to all of those messages one by one. I was feeling pretty good about myself. I was like, this is going to be awesome. And then at the very next moment, I was like, that's actually pretty boring. That's just like a voicemail. Who does that? Nobody listens to voicemails. That's really boring. So I was like, all right, so how do I make this a bit more fun and engaging? How do I do this? And then, of course, it dropped on my head. It's like, he has an echo. What if I could ask Alexa? What if you could actually ask Alexa to play all those messages that people have been leaving on this uh, using the Twilio phone number? So that's, how, that's what I set out to do. And as you can imagine, there's really two pieces to this. The first one is recording, which is going to happen with Twilio. Uh, and then the second piece is the playback, which we will do using Alexa Skill and some backend logic, which will be sitting on AWS Lambda function. So let's run through how this is actually going to work. So for the first part, you have all these lovely people, his friends and family, uh, who we reached out to. Can you please record your message, any special memory, call this number. And that number, gets, of course, gets routed to Twilio. There's a little bit of Twimmel that's sitting in the uh, Twimmel bin which is essentially just having like one MP3, which I've recorded as a greeting message, and then a record. And then that message gets recorded and sits in the Twilio cloud, ready uh, for me to retrieve it when I'm actually uh, running the Alexa skill. So that's really all the Twilio part. And the next part is the playback. So that's my dad, or some uh, representation of him. Um, and he's, uh, he just says the magic words, Alexa, play my birthday greetings. And at this point, the audio gets routed to Alexa, which is sitting in the cloud. So all of the speech recognition and the understanding is actually happening in the cloud. I don't have to worry about that. And then finally, it figures out, oh, this request is meant for the birthday greeting skill. And it routes that request to my Lambda function, which is sitting on AWS. The Lambda function then figures out, oh, it's supposed to get some calls, recordings from Twilio. So it uses the call recording API from Twilio to make that call, gets the bunch of MP3s back, and then starts playing them one by one for him. So it goes whatever messages are, happy birthday, and all of those messages are played back for him one by one. So let's actually run through what this actually entails when you're creating the Alexa skill. So much like a web or a mobile app, uh, Alexa skill really is two pieces. One is a front end, 
uh, which you would call the voice user interface, and then the back end, which is uh, really driving all the programming logic. Now, the front end is sitting on developer.amazon.com. So we'll run through all of these steps now. I'm going to go into developer.amazon.com, create the skill, and we'll walk through that skill. Uh, and then finally, I'll connect my backend logic, which is actually uh, uh, getting all the recordings from Twilio and playing them back. So let's actually jump in and do some code. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back and make sure I am mirroring so I'm not looking behind myself. OK. So I am on developer.amazon.com. Can you guys see this in the back, or should I zoom in more? All right. Um, so I'm going to click on Add a New Skill. And I am going to name it. Signal greetings. Now that's the name of my skill, and then there is the invocation name, which is what we will actually say to activate that skill. So I'm going to call it signal greetings here as well. Now I'm using the audio player API since we have a bunch of audio that's coming back and forth. We want to be able to pause it, repeat it, resume it, things like that. So Alexa Skills could provide me a way to do that without writing all of that. So I'm going to say yes here and save. Let's click Next. And now we are at this point where it's looking for the interaction model. Now, the interaction model really defines what that voice user interface looks like. So what are the features your skill is going to have? What kind of behavior it's going to have? Now, our skill is pretty simple. It's going to have what we call an intent schema. So this is really an array, uh, a JSON representation of all the intents. So Really, there's only one intent that we are playing around with. That's play audio. And I have a bunch of other Amazon built-in intents. Now, like I said, we are building uh, an audio uh, skill, so it needs all of these capabilities. And I'm just going to use pause, Amazon.pause, resume, and all of those intents so I don't have to define them. And that's all there is to the intent schema. And then we come to the sample utterances. Now, sample utterances all are all the different ways that you can actually activate a skill or ask for a certain feature from the skill. There may be different uh, words or phrases of essentially asking the same thing. So I may have something like play audio, which is really mapping up to the intent, and then start the greetings or play the greetings, begin the greetings. They're essentially different ways of saying the same thing. So they should all map to the same function or intent that I have. So with that done, I am going to click on Save. And while the interaction model is being built, let's jump over and look at some of the Twilio stuff. So I am logged into my Twilio console here. And I let's click on Runtime to look at my Twimmel bins. And while it's loading, so I have two of these. Let's look at the signal demo Twimmel that I already created. So nothing fancy. It's just a very simple Twimmel playing this MP3, which will be the greeting uh, when somebody calls that number. And then it sets off with the record verb, which is uh, really going to set up the recording of whatever uh, the people are saying. So that's Twimmel. And then this is the phone number that I have created that we'll be using in just a bit. So all this is doing is a call comes in, and I'm pointing it to the signal demo uh, Twimmel that I just created. So if you guys actually call that number now, you, can, uh, you will actually be greeted uh, with that MP3 file. So let's go back. The interaction model is ready. So I'm going to click on Next. And at this point, it's looking for where is my backend logic living. So it needs an HTTPS endpoint. It could be uh, AWS, or it could be any other server that you're running. It, could be, uh, it just needs to be accessible over the web, and it needs to be an HTTPS connection. So I am going to use AWS, and it's looking for uh, what is called the ARN, which is an Amazon resource name. It's a unique name defining your Lambda function that's sitting in the cloud. So let's actually jump in and create that Lambda function. But before we do that, let's look at the code that we have for this. So.
So this is, let me show you a couple of files, the important files that we are running, uh, that we are playing here with. So this is index.js. That's the file that actually gets executed the first time your Lambda function executes. And what that really means is that when we set up the Lambda function, Alexa will trigger off that function. So when we actually say, Alexa, uh, open our skill, it will actually fire off that Lambda function, and then this is where uh, it will land up. So what we are doing is we are setting up some modules here. Uh, I have the uh, state handlers, and the state handlers file is really defining all of the different kinds of intents or requests that uh, I my skill may encounter. So the first one is launch request. So when you first launch the Alexa skill, that request is actually fired off, and that request gets sent off to the Lambda function. So what I'm doing here is really getting, setting up my audio data, getting the recordings. And the getting recordings function is really a very simple Twilio API recordings call. So I'm generating all of the API recordings and pushing it into an array. That makes it available into my state handlers. So when I'm first launching the skill, my array is already set up with all of the MP3 files. And then finally, I defined a DynamoDB table name. Now, this, this, the, the audio player skill automatically takes care of that. Uh, all I have to do is define what the name of the table would be. So if uh, it can actually uh, save session state on that table. So if I actually launch the skill the first time, it will greet me with a uh, welcome to the skill. And the next time I launch it again, it knows where it left off, so it can actually start off uh, from that position. And then I have this very simple publish file, which really is uh, publishing all of this using the AWS SDK into my Lambda function. So let's actually go in here and make sure I have the latest version of the Lambda function. Now, as it uploads it, I am going to go into my Lambda. And these are all the functions that I have here. I'm going to modify, or by modified date. So as you can see, there's a function called signal hotline. I am going to click on that and get the ARN for this function. And then jump back into our skill, paste that here, and save. So let's go back and see if this is all published. That is published. It's gone to my Lambda function. And at this point, I'm going to go jump back in. And as you can see, it's created a table. Let me refresh this. There we go. And it's empty right now. So now let's go back. to our skill. And now, if we call that number and leave a message, that will get recorded, and then I will ask Alexa to play those messages. So let's give it a shot. Right. I have an old iPhone 6, so it's really, really slow. Uh, okay. Can we get the audio from this? All right, calling from Signal. Let's see if this is actually working. I'm having quite a bit of fun. Hopefully everyone is too. Okay, so now let's go back to our browser. Let's see if our recording actually showed up. I'm gonna refresh this. And there it is. So let's get the audio back in here. Let's go back. Hello, test. All right. Is that the latest one? All right. Uh, 
And at this point, let's talk to Alexa. Open signal hotline. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I call it something else? Let's go. Oh, signal greetings. Thank you. Open signal greetings. Hello, signal developers. So great to have you all here. When you're ready, say begin. Begin. Hello, test. All right, looks like it's working. All right, calling from signal. Let's That's see if my it's message. actually working. I'm having quite a bit of fun. Hopefully everyone is too. Hey. Stop. So, that was that. I have to go back and undo this. Okay. So that was that, and that's what I ended up doing for my dad. And let's see what actually came out of it. So there were over 30 people who called. Um, there was over 60 minutes of recording that he actually had to listen to. At one point, he got tired and he had to sit down. Um, there was an average duration of about over two minutes. So if you actually think about that, people just didn't call and leave, like say happy birthday and just left at that. They actually shared some more memories and shared some more moments with him. That was completely unexpected if you actually think of it. But most important of all, he absolutely loved it. Uh, this is a, a screenshot of the recordings that I took back then. And if you see that, that's, there's a seven minute, 33 second recording. That was my dad's brother, who shared all childhood memories with him, some special anecdotes, and uh, he completely, absolutely loved it, which I could not have expected with their simple voicemail uh, system that I was initially thinking of setting up. Now, uh, to show you, the, uh, to give you a glimpse of what actually happened, my mom actually took a video of when my dad was listening to this. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Wishing you a very, very happy and a blessed birthday. God bless you, always, and with many, many more to come. You are a gem of a person. We thank God that you are in our life. Always be as you are. Always, always be like that. God bless you. We love you. Bye bye. So as you can see, I could have done whatever else and that would not have amounted to this. And that actually made me learn a lesson that the amount of effort I actually put into this hack was just a few hours. Like we are developers, we know that. But the, if the amount of love or the affection he got out of that was an order of magnitude more than the effort I had put in. And that just reminded me of the power that we as developers have to do stuff with code, of not just solving problems, but solving problems with maybe a little bit of emotion involved over there. So you're actually solving a problem with a face on it and not just solving a problem for problem's sake. So that's how I use Alexa, Twilio, and AWS to wish my dad happy birthday. Now you can too. Father's Day is coming, by the way. <laughs> so if you want access to this code, just text this number. Um, and I, it'll automatically send you a link to the uh, source code for this, uh, for this entire skill that I created with a complete guide to it. Uh, and also, if you like this talk, if you would actually recommend this talk to a friend or a colleague, please rate me, and that'll help me improve this talk. Uh, it'll let me know if it, this is actually being valuable to you as an audience, or there's a certain amount of work I need to do, or completely drop the talk altogether. So please do that, that would help me a lot. Uh, again, my name is Amit Jotwani. I am Alexa AI and Machine Learning Evangelist, and it's been a pleasure talking to you uh, in a disco fashion style. Thank you very much. <laughs>